Hello everyone and welcome to round 13 of the 2018 World Blitz Championship. Uh, we have a game between Magnus Carlsen and Anish Giri, two of the leaders. Carlsen is the sole leader with um, uh, with Artemi Vladislav after drawing that game uh, in, in round 12. Uh, but Giri also trying to catch up and uh, Giri has the black pieces in this uh, mashup. And we also said that it's very interesting as two of them often have their little brawls, brawls on Twitter. Uh, so de definitely uh, a game to check out. Uh, so without further ado, it's a Blitz game, we're not going to overanalyze it, but uh, we are definitely going to enjoy it. Uh, Carlsen is the defending 2017 World Blitz champion, and he opens with c4. Uh, we have e5 by Giri, knight to c3, and the knight to f6. The English opening on the board, uh, the two knights variation. Knight f3, knight to c6, we go into the four knights variation of the English. Uh, e4, and now bishop to c5. Giri allows Carlsen... Uh, a neat trick that uh, kind of forces matters. Uh, knight captures on e5. And okay, knight captures on e5, and we have d4 now attacking uh, the two pieces. Uh, of course, you want to win at least one of the pieces back. And here, Gary goes for bishop to b4. It's a known move. Uh, this is nothing new being played. d captures on e5, knight captures on e4. Now with the threat of capturing the knight on c3, and we have queen to f3. Forcing the knight to capture, but also guarding the c3 square. Knight captures on c3, b captures on c3, attacking the bishop, and here Giri goes back to e7, uh, so the bishop can help out with the defense. Uh, but already this is move 10, and we have queen to g3. And now uh, it's very, I mean, uh, you have uh, these messed up uh, <laughs> pawns uh, on the entire board for Carlsen, but Giri's pawns are intact, but also uh, he still hasn't started developing anything. Everything is completely undeveloped, while Carl Carlsen is free to... Uh, develop uh, any any way he wants and already he's attacking the g7 pawn uh, and you can't castle if you castle you're just gonna get the bishop to h6 threatening checkmate you cannot defend it as the pawn uh, covers f6 you're gonna have to give up the exchange here and uh, will be better for the rest of the game so giri tries d6 here uh, sorry g6 here uh, now kind of preparing the castle, uh, but Carlsen of course prevents it with bishop to h6. And here uh, Giri played d6. I'm very surprised that uh, he didn't try uh, uh, <laughs> bishop to uh, bishop to f8 here. Uh, and d6 is a move that was played in, uh, th there were four other, uh, other games of, that I found in this exact same position. Three of them were won by white, one of them ended in a draw. But black can definitely go for some sort of a... Uh, a trying of a uh, threefold repetition uh, after bishop g5 simply bishop to e7 bishop h6 uh, bishop f8 bishop g5 and uh, white doesn't have a better move than bishop to h6 i think uh, i think uh, shahrir mamedyarov uh, drew a similar game uh, with the white pieces uh, in some tournament and then everyone was like oh what are you doing not this exact same position but it was similar uh, but okay giri wants to play d6 uh, bishop to e2, Carlsen prepares the castle, bishop to e6, Giri is now preparing queen d7 and queenside castle as well, he's not castling kingside. Uh, rook to d1 and now comes queen to d7, now the path is cleared. Uh, e captures on d6, pawn captures on d6 and now we have castles, queenside castle and Carlsen brings back the bishop as there is no point for bishop to be uh, covering this diagonal anymore. Uh, you are attacking the a7 pawn, so you can either defend it with the king, but then the king goes into this diagonal where the queen is, so Giri decides to activate the queen and also defend the a7 pawn. Queen to f3, Carlsen now attacks the b7 pawn, he's preparing rook to b1, uh, and Giri tries to trade off queens. Carlsen, of course, uh, doesn't want to trade material as his pawn structure is all messed up. Uh, queen to f4 now. Keeping everything on the board, the queen cannot be attacked for the moment, and we have b6 here. Uh, the a7 pawn is no longer attacked, but the b6 pawn now becomes a target, and Carlsen starts attacking it. Uh, we have a4. And now you could grab the pawn with uh, with your queen, but then rook to a1 simply takes a hold of the semi-open a file. Uh, rook to d7. Uh, tr trying to activate this rook as a defensive piece, but then you get... Uh, then you get some queen e, queen e4, uh, queen d4 ideas uh, as the rook on h8 is un, uh, defended and the black will want to tend to this at some point as well. a5, Carlsen wants to bust open the queen side. b captures on a5 and now comes rook to b1 taking, uh, taking hold of, of the only open uh, file on the board, that is the b file. Uh, rook to c7 by Giri, hoping to capture on c4. And here Carlsen played c5. You don't want to play something like uh, bishop to f3 too soon and then... Black gets to capture this c4 pawn, which would be great for black. White would still be better, but the black is doing something. 
uh, but after this rook to c7 Carlson played c5 opening up the fourth rank but also now the queen cannot capture you can only capture with the pawn and then you also open up this diagonal this diagonal and uh, but other than this c5 move there was uh, an even even greater idea so it, it's a really cool move uh, i know it's a blitz game we're not going to over analyze anything but feel free to pause the video and try to find the 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 crazy move uh for those of you who were able to do it congratulations you are an excellent uh, calculator over the entire board and for those of you who just want to enjoy the show bishop captures on a7 uh, of course, the threat is rook to b8, uh, the, which would win the rook. Uh, and if you capture the rook, uh, the bishop, then we have this idea that the rook on h8 is undefended. Queen d4 attacks both of the rooks that are undefended. White is winning here. Uh, but okay, Carlson went for c5, also an excellent move. D captures on c5, and now uh, Carlson went bishop to f3, uh, attacking the queen. Uh, also, uh, an interesting move is bishop to b5. Uh, which wins the game on the spot, uh, you will either win the queen, there's a not, not much you can do about this, uh, if you try this, then you get this check, and then rook picks up the queen, uh, rook picks up the queen, uh, if you go all the way back with the queen, then you get bishop to a6 check, and then you're just uh, uh, king d8, queen e5, uh, attacking the rook after the rook moves, the rook fd1 check, now the king has to move, uh, the rook on c7 is unprotected, queen captures the rook, and it's all over. Uh, but okay, uh, after d captures on c5, bishop to f3 attacking Giri's queen, queen to d6 offering a queen trade, and now queen to e4. And uh, here, uh, on move 24, Giri played rook to d8, but it was uh, far too late as his time ran out before he could hit the clock. Uh, but it wouldn't matter, it's also uh, a very interesting position for you to solve, so again, feel free to pause the video here and try to find uh, what wins here for white. Uh, I'll give you a couple of seconds. Uh, for those of you who were able to do it, congratulations, you are an excellent rook sacrificer. And for those of you who just want to enjoy the show, rook to b8 check. A deadly move, as if you capture it, then queen to a8 check is checkmate. Uh, and if you don't capture, if you try to run away, king to d7, then of course queen to a4 check, uh, not allowing the king to escape via e8. You have to block this, of course you don't want to block with the queen, as the bishop is controlling c6. But after rook blocks, bishop captures, you get queen captures, and now rook to b7 uh, forces the king either to go back and then queen captures queen, or you will protect the queen, but then you get queen f4 check, king d5, and c4 will be a very nice checkmate. So yeah, uh, after this rook to d8, uh, Giri's time ran out, but it's also a completely winning position, a forced mate in 12 with best defense, so yeah, uh, an excellent uh, game by by Carlsen with the white pieces against Anish Giri, and Peter Lake also said that it's very weird that Giri allowed Carlsen to go for these kind of types of structures, as uh, uh, Carlsen was uh, definitely prepared for them, uh, as as there, there were chances that uh, Caruana would go for something like this during the World Chess Championship match. Uh, but yeah, it's blitz, anything can happen, and it's always enjoyable. Uh, so yeah, uh, I would like to thank uh, Prathamesh Mahajan and Wolfgang Erlinger for a contribution to my channel. Thank you a lot, I really appreciate it. As usual, you can check all my previous videos here. Thank you all for watching, and I will see you soon uh, with some more games from the 2018 World Blitz Championship. Thank you all, and I will see you soon, and have an excellent rest of your Sunday.